The seventh slide is your team slide, um, sometimes called a management slide, but it really should be a place where you identify the key people involved in your company. This will be you know, founders, any key hires, um, potential you know, key investors, advisors, board members that you have. Now the most important is your management team or your co-founding team. The people are going to execute your business plan. When you identify them, it's really good to have some pictures. You know, put because a lot of people will be reading your deck or viewing it, and you may be the only person pitching, or that you may have emailed it to them, and have a, a connection of, oh, this is who the person is, and they don't have to be formal pictures, suit and tie, just you know, some reference of, oh, okay, that's who the person they're talking to is. And you don't want an entire bio on the person. You know, what you want to do is, you know, kind of list what the responsibilities are, and responsibilities are more important than titles. You know, I've seen you. Have, founding teams where there's only three people, you know, and they're all C-level executives. That's great, but what I really want to know is who's going to do what in the, the company? Who's going to be developing the product? Who's going to be selling it? And what's that third person going to be doing uh, for it? So list the responsibilities. And then as their bio components, tell me some of their key accomplishments or highlights from their career and any notable companies they've worked for. If you have a staff member or you know co-founder who's worked at a really notable company that brings domain expertise to your industry, so maybe you're in the financial transaction space and you have someone that's worked at Bank of America and you know is a VP of transactions, I want to know that as an investor. Um, I, that's much more important than where they went to school, by the way. So those are kind of the key things you want to do with your team slide. Um, don't load it up with a lot of information. The idea with the team slide is that it shows who we've got where the potential gaps may be, you know, beyond, you know, you're not going to say a black dot, this is where we need to hire someone. But if you don't have a CTO, don't try to hide it. Just you know, acknowledge who you have on this team. And during your pitch, you can say, we're looking to hire a CTO with our next round of capital.